So, oh, greetings everybody. My name is Keisho and today we will be learning Git. So, Git is this version controlling tool you can use to keep track of all the changes you made to your code. So, this is an amazing tool to be used for developers. So, yeah. And this guy, Roger Dudler, which whose link I will be posting in the description has made an amazing website explaining how you can begin with git so step one you have to install it on your computer so for windows you can go to this website and it will start begin automatically yeah so after installing so after downloading and double clicking on the file it will start installing you have to install it then you on the bottom left of your windows system you will use command cmd just type it cmd and search it and you will then open command prompt hope you are familiar with that oh yeah and then you will be going through this website to learn and to begin with git so first step is to initialize a new repository if you want if you have a folder in your local system and you want to send it to on the github so yeah first step is to initialize the git so get in it put in it yeah and then yeah you can check out a repository which is a fancy term of saying that you are downloading an online repository for local use so git clone this is the important command you have to learn in order this is the main requirement of of downloading projects or repository from github so git clone and then you have to type the link of the github repository so yeah and then the best part of the git is its workflow how it maintains the version or what changes you make to your files so this is a workflow you have to first add all the files in your you have uh, so you have to ins add all the files you want to send it to you github and then you have to commit and then push so yeah this is add and commit this way you add the files you want to send and this way this command uses to send all the files then the second step is next step is to commit what changes you have made to command so to keep track of them and then the final part is to push so this after this your local all the files you have on your local folder will be sent over to github so yeah you know and branching is the main feature of github so this way if you want to add a new feature without disturbing the old ones or the other ones you can use branching you know you can take out a new branch with a new feature and then you can merge it if that works fine so yeah you can check out and branch yeah you can go through all this website and see how it works for you so this is a very simple guide anybody you can learn git in five minutes using this website so that's that's the thing man